All right, welcome to another episode of the Property Limb Brothers Home Tours. We're here today at the Coven vicinity and we're going to show you a brand new TOP project. Yeah, this is Stars of Coven. We're just three minutes to Coven MRT. We have a 969 square feet, three bedroom unit to show you. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Stars of Coven is a brand new mixed development developed by Chong Kong Holding, a major property developer in Hong Kong who has developed many landmarks and uh, notable projects in Singapore as well, uh, including Marina Bay Financial Centre and Thompson Grand. Stars of Coven was completed in 2019 and just TOP'd in February 2020. Sitting on a land of 326,000 square feet, Stars of Coven is a brand new mixed development that comprises of 395 units and also 46 commercial shop units. In terms of the unit configuration here, there are one bedroom, two bedroom and three bedroom layout types. There are only 63 bidders here in the entire development. That works out to be about 15% only. Uh, of the units here are three bedroom layouts. In terms of the design of the development, Stars of Coven is British inspired. So everything is really uh, elegant and luxurious. The facade of this building has these very creative and fluid uh, geometrical features. They have also incorporated landscape decks. The whole space just feels very English inspired. So there are four blocks here excluding the strata landed terraces. 17 storeys high, the units here start on the third floor. The size of the three bedders here, they range from 946 square feet to 1023 square feet. There are a total of 12 variations of three bedroom layouts here. Uh, broadly speaking, there are four types, so C1 to C4. The unit that we're in today is the C4 type, which includes your living and dining area with a balcony, an enclosed L-shaped kitchen with your home shelter and yard toilet, your common bathroom, two common bedrooms, a master bedroom and your master ensuite, as well as a balcony in your master bedroom. So for the three bedroom units here, you have stack 19 in block 984, which is facing towards the clubhouse and the entrance of the project. The units there are slightly smaller at 958 square feet. And then the master bedroom has no balcony. You also have stack 3 in block 980, which is also the smaller 3 bedroom unit type at 958 square feet. In block 982, which is the block that we're in today, there are two stacks of 3 bedder units here. Stack 9, which is the smaller 3 bedroom unit type at 947 square feet. And stack 12, which is the stack that we're in at 969 square feet. In terms of facing, we're at the stack that does not get any afternoon west sun at all. You have an external unblocked view with no high rises in front of you. So if you're after one of the bigger three bedroom layouts here, you don't want any afternoon sun and you also prefer to have balconies in your living and your master bedroom and also require a home shelter, then you might want to take a look at this unit. Right, right here in the unit, this is actually the living and dining space. So it's very efficiently sized, very rectangular. So you don't have any odd corners or beams in the house. This little corner over here, you can definitely build up a shoe cabinetry. You know, you can put in like a poof here just to put on your shoes before you head out. Right, and dining space is great. Right here, we have a six seater. I think it's a very good size, especially if you are in a three bedder kind of setup. Probably you have a family of maybe a four or even with a helper and stuff like that. The living area over here, viewing distance from the couch, I think it's great. If you really want to, you can probably do up some TV console feature wall design on this wall. All right, so the ceiling height, of course, in the home is about 2.89 meters. And for those of you who are following the channel, you know I'm about 1.9, so there's a lot of headroom. Right, so you can still drop a four ceiling if you want to install some down lights or uh, spotlights and stuff like that to put some artwork behind the sofa area right over there. The flooring is clad in this 80 by 80 tiles. They are a bit like a marble look-alike kind of a finish. Now the balcony doors are done up in this fascina like type of system. For those of you who are in the know, you can search this in Google. Basically, the fascina type doors have a better sound resistant type of a material and insulation. So it totally almost cuts out most of the road noise that comes in. All right, so if you head out in the balcony, you can put in two outdoor chairs as well as a table. You know, you can enjoy and take a seat, enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning and stuff like that. So I think that's a very useful type of a balcony if you like some indoor-outdoor living kind of setup in your home. Moving into the kitchen area. So I like that the kitchen is actually tucked in one corner of the house. The sliding door is right over here, so you can just shut it. Right, there's a see-through glass. 
As Bitri shared earlier, this is a totally new development. All the appliances in the kitchen, I think most of them are all smacked. So you have a fridge, an oven, a cooker, hood and hob. And something about a cooker is that they have a gas burner as well as an induction. So, you know, it's up to your preference which you kind of prefer. So in the kitchen, if you're cooking up a storm, you can simply ventilate in this huge window right over here as well. The Cheong Kong developer has also put in very thoughtful things like the backsplash so it's easier to clean. Top bottom storage cabinets, the top has this mirror-like effect and the bottom are in this like woody grain kind of thing. Uh, drawers are bloom system, soft closing as well. The kitchen faucet is Grohe, so it's a premium fitting as well as this undermounted sink which makes the cleaning easier. And in this other corner of the kitchen, you have your home shelter right here. So you can store all your stuff in the house. Something that is very functional is that the rubbish chute is actually in the home. So you don't have to kind of like step out into your common corridor just to throw the rubbish every end of the day. And of course, there is a helpless WC or an extra kind of washing area. Uh, and what some of our owners like to do is they like to convert this into a secondary laundry area if they like. The washing machine, of course, smack again, is tucked in this corner, doesn't jut out on your walkway, right? So let's move on and share with you a little bit more about the location here as well as some of the other projects just for comparison's sake. Now in District 19, Coburn is actually located between the Aukang MRT station as well as Serangoon. I think a few common reasons are that this area is actually a very mature township. You actually have a food centre and wet market in the Coburn hub area. So you have cold storage at the Heartland Mall area as well as Fairprice Finest. So if you're a family with kids, the Coven vicinity has a lot of educational and enrichment centers to fulfill your kids' educational needs. And of course, if you're a younger couple and you want to kind of like go cafe hopping and stuff like that, there is Lola's Cafe, there's also Ice Age Cafe along the Simon Road area. So you can go there for like brunch on the weekends or at night if you just want to head down for some food and chillax, you know, like on a Friday night. That's just all within walkable distance. Not forgetting the Coburn MRT is just within a 3 to 5 minutes walk across the road. So if you bring up the map over here at the cross junction of Upper Serangoon Road as well as Tampanese Road, you'll notice that there is this triangular zone where there are four main developments over here. You have the Coburn Residences, Coburn Melody as well as Coburn Regency. If you are looking to purchase a condominium, there are three main types. The first one being the resale type of condominiums where someone has been living in the home and when you purchase this resale condominium, you'll probably be doing some renovations. But the good thing is that you get to move in uh, almost immediately. The second type are the new launch type of condominiums which is still under construction and these usually take about three to four years before they are ready for occupation. Now the third type are the just TOP type of condominiums which are brand new. The owners have waited out the three to four years and have now collected their keys. They put it up their unit now for resale on the market. Now this unit that we have here today at Stars of Coven is a three bedroom unit that has just achieved TOP which falls in the third category. The unit that we have is listed at 1.58 million negotiable. So do come check out the place if you are someone that wants a brand new home and is ready for occupation. So coming back into the home, Beatrice is going to share with you more about the bedrooms as well as other spaces in the home. Okay guys, let's go take a look at the bedrooms. This is the first common bedroom. This is a really good sized room. You have your half height windows over here. You're overlooking the Tampines Road area, but you still enjoy this really nice and blocked view from this bedroom. So this could be your study room or home office, or you could put in a super single or a single bed in here. Um, everything is really brand new. So you have your sliding wardrobe with really nice brass finishes. The flooring in all the bedrooms are this light colored timber strips. Let's head to the second bedroom. This room is identical in size to the first common bedroom. There are mirror images of each other. You have the same built-in wardrobes over here. We have the single bed over here and you still get plenty of space uh, in this room for a side table. The same view from this bedroom with your half-height windows. Now follow me into the master bedroom. This is your very nicely sized master bedroom. There is a queen size bed over here. What's great about this room is that you get your full height sliding glass doors. Unlike the other two bedrooms which have half height windows, these windows here are full height floor to ceiling. You also have your own little private outdoor space. 
If you wanted to put some outdoor furniture here, some lounging chairs, you could sit here in the evening. So this is a really bright master bedroom and plenty of wardrobe space. These built-in wardrobes are great. They occupy this entire span of the wall. So let's go check out the master ensuite. This is such a luxurious master ensuite. As you can see, all the sanitary fittings and fixtures, they are completely new. The seal hasn't even been removed yet. I really like this uh, very luxurious looking bathroom vanity uh, with these open shelving and some more storage at the bottom. And you also have a very nice shower area over here. So this master ensuite feels really grand and luxurious. So for this master bedroom and actually for all of the rooms, you really don't have to do much. Uh, it's literally in move-in condition. If you wanted to put a TV in your master bedroom, you could put it right over here. Either mount it on the wall to save more space or there actually is sufficient space for a TV console over here. This is the common bathroom. Similar finishes uh, for your common bathroom as with the master ensuite. So you have your dark colored bathroom vanity tops and storage. And over here you have a very good sized shower area as well. And also the facilities here are really awesome. You have a clubhouse which houses your function room where you can have dinner parties. You also have a gym, a barbecue deck, a lap pool, a children's pool, playground, outdoor fitness path. You also have a Kensington Sky Garden which is directly on the roof of this block that we're in where you have a sky barbecue area as well as a spa pool. As Mark mentioned, Coven MRT is literally just a 3 minute walk away. From there, the Circle Line uh, is just one stop away. There are 9 stops to Raffles MRT and also about 15 minutes to Dobie Ghat. You also have Haukang Mall and Nix in the immediate vicinity. For schools, you have Tsinghua Primary School, Yu Ying Secondary School and Holy Innocence Primary School as one of the many reputable schools in the area. So if you're after a brand new unit that just TOP'd just 5 minutes uh, away from Coven MRT and you want to move in quickly with a fresh lease without any wait time, uh, then do come check out this home with us. Right, and if you want to keep that quantum below 1.6 million, love the Coven area, love the food, love the cafes, then come check out this place with us and also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more home tours. This is Mark Chan, Beatrice Lim, Property Lim Brothers, Brothers, always, always happy, happy to show you the place. It is made up of 365 units. Uh, they are... Hey. 395! You see, I can't uh, remember. Beatrice, let's go. Beatrice, take it away. Beatrice! <laughs> Beatrice. <laughs>